Hello there. I'm going to do something a little different. I just uploaded the other video that I just did and I was kind of just chillaxing and I felt like I wanted to channel the messages that someone wants to say, all the words they want to say, their thoughts, their feelings, everything behind the scenes. It's like a behind the scenes kind of a feeling. I don't know if this is because someone here really wants to know what's going on. What the, what the, what the French toast, right? I know what I feel. What are they feeling? What are they thinking? So, I don't know. Maybe this will be a new series i don't know all i know is that this has is so strong and and i, I kept sitting there trying to read <clears throat> bought a couple books from barnes and nobles i was trying to just relax after i uploaded the last one and i can't so here we go i feel that there is a masculine energy that their palms are sweaty they're nervous and their hearts beating rapidly and I can see them getting up in the morning, morning routine, washing their face, brushing their teeth, getting ready for their day, putting on this brave face. So whoever this masculine is, they have a slight facade. And it's not to say the facade is because their life is in shambles. I don't feel that. I feel like they're very successful, very ambitious, very motivating, very like a fucking this bde it's big dick energy but what i feel is there's more than meets the eye they play things off as actually it's not that they play things off they play off this feeling this connection this love it does feel hidden so this could be a connection that hasn't actually become anything. It's been very gray or very, maybe friends, maybe casual, maybe business. It hasn't gotten up off of the ground. And, and this person, they could be an air sign or they just could be an overthinker. Someone here is overthinking. They, they overthink everything in this connection, not in life. I don't think they do that in life. They feel very confident, very sure. It's like every day they get up and they put on this mask to be able to get through the day. It's required and it's necessary because I feel like they can't stop thinking about it. I feel like it it controls them. It has power over their mind and their thoughts. And it gives the vibe of, I mean, slight obsession. This person could be obsessed. They're, or at least obsessively thinking about it. The problem here is they don't know how you feel. So there, it hasn't been said it's 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 an it's it's sort of it's theorized right like well maybe they do well they said this and they kind of do it i'm not sure and i think it's on both fucking ends like two the, the one you want wants you too it's like you both have the same yearning but neither knows and this is a shot caller they get up every day they 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 reach for the stars they swing for the fences they are they don't wallow and they're wallowing. They may have, th their behavior may have changed maybe recently. <clears throat> and you're talking recent meaning past few months, past few weeks, past few days. And they haven't been acting like themselves. They may not have felt like themselves. There's definitely a feeling of, it's like they can't shake it. They just, they can't. It's, it's consumed them. It's like, they, it's like they caught a bug. It's like a virus. 
And no matter what they do, sleep it off, drink it off, fuck it off, sate it off, uh, work it off. They can't. It's there. It's just there. Yeah, well, that's why it's there. It's past life fucking connection. It's unfinished business. It says literal soul recognition, instant connection. Imagine you live your whole fucking life and you've only had bits and pieces of real love connection and imagine this comes in and it catches you off guard and it's so soulful and it's like you recognize the person immediately and you guys just vibe upon first sight and it's love at first sight for some and it is a feeling of I can't let this go. I, I can't. I don't. I, it, it's And they don't under. They're not going to say, well, it's a past life connection. That's why I feel this way. I mean, fucking 99.9% .9 of them aren't going to know and feel that. They just know they feel a bond. And they can't yet figure it out. But they feel like a very smart, intellectual person. They're not fucking dumb. They're not stupid. So. They know it's something more. But what's eating them up is they don't know if they're making it up. So the, it's so obvious here that there hasn't been any clear-cut communication on either person's end because both people are sitting in a place of, I don't know, is it just me? There's also big risk. They feel like it's risky. I don't know if it's because they don't want to risk the relationship you guys currently have. Is it you, you, the friendship, um, the business connection, the, the chance? It's a big risk. I think it's also something, a risk when it comes to their pride their ego because what if they shoot their shot and they're rejected but i don't know it feels like they may have in small ways even in big ways but they've gone over the other person's head but in their mind they're thinking i put out a clear shot and i did this and this was what happened and then they go back in their head of okay so then maybe it's not what i thought it was there's a breaking point though there's like a breakthrough and they can feel it. And it's almost like this weird anxiousness of wanting to get it over with. Like, I don't know if it's because they're gonna see you again soon or if you guys work together and they can't, you know, they wanna see you tomorrow at work or it's, I don't know. But it's like this impending unknown that's eaten them alive. And their, their fucking palms are sweaty as fuck. They're nervous anxious they dream about it you know Let's see the sparks instant instant connection you guys might not be each other's usual type or there's something very witchy about the feminine black cat you know it's very witchy she's very supernatural something about the connection might feel like that to them supernatural it's some, it wasn't normal it's something magical about it was very eccentric, very different. Or maybe they see you that way. But you see how this fucking cat's eyes are lit the fuck up? It's like glowing. So it's like whatever it's looking at has like a light. It's a glow. So when they look at you, it's like they just see this like They just see this. And they can't shake it. You have the feather too, this freedom, strength. I mean, this is a lone ranger, someone who is very independent. Hyper independent too, whether that's you or them or both of you. Meaning, I don't want to be at nobody. I'm not looking for connection. They, they love to be alone. They found peace in being alone. Vain, I told you it was their fucking pride or ego. It's like I'm psychic or something. 
it's that's the risk i think that they are the kind of person that they're very used to people making their intentions known to them in fact i just did that reading everybody's watching them but they're looking at you they're used to that sort of comfort of okay this person's definitely interested in me so there's no risk there right there's a risk here to their pride to their ego because either number one they're afraid to be rejected because it's un unclear to them or number two it's just it's so much and they're slightly arrogant too i'm telling you the arrogance is because people they're cash like people want them so they you might be a chin check because you're not acting the way that people usually act with them. Emotions, that's exactly what they're feeling. Overwhelmed. Like they're drowning in it. I can see this person like throughout the day, like just rubbing their face. Just like, oh, like, you know, just oh. rubbing their face, rubbing, just sighing really heavily, sh stressed and pressed. People are like, what's the matter? What's what's wrong? And they're like, oh, nothing. Because who the fuck they gonna tell? No, this is some shit that they got under lock and key. They ain't telling nobody. And if they told somebody, it would be very vague. They wouldn't say who, why, what, when, where. Because it's something about their pride. See, that's where the masculines have always fucked up. This is part of that, right? Where they have to swallow their pride to acknowledge to recognize and to communicate it's like it's like they look in the, and you are a mirror see how the, the bitch is holding a mirror it's like looking in a mirror so you guys are probably very similar maybe very different opposites but there's this weird kinship and similarity uh, it's like polar opposite so it's like looking in a mirror right and it's like reflecting back all this shit and it's like their eyes just fucking glow they may have even lost their appetite recently they just haven't been feeling like themselves or what they're doing is they're because they're starving for something right it's hungry for fucking that ass i'm sure this connection so they might have been starving themselves in other ways or consuming more things to satisfy that hunger in other ways meaning if they're a fucking hard worker they're a workaholic now or they try dating someone else or they've eat they've been eating abnormally more than they would working out at the gym abnormally reading more you see what i'm saying they're consuming more things to satisfy this hunger and they're finding that they can't they're hungry for this connection and it's funny because that full moon we have coming up on the 25th of this month <clears throat> it's a full moon in leo and when i looked it up they called it the wolf moon but it's also known as the snow moon and the hungry moon or the hunger moon pause time off they may have even took time off of work and they ain't that tight unless they got something to do and yeah, they may take off of work when they say hey i got this important thing to do i'm going to take a trip or whatever they may have literally said i just am not coming in today i'm going to take this day off because i just need to fucking breathe i just need to relax they have been so in their head Turn on the TV, can't concentrate on that. Look at their phone, can't concentrate on that. Watch, uh, go outside, we'll do people, they can't do that. They, they, not, they can't do anything. This doesn't go away. Shooting star. This is like something they fucking wished for, they manifested it. Someone here could be a star, right? Where uh, people will look at them, people watch them. Is it literal? Are they like a celebrity? Someone in the public eye? I mean, it's possible. But for some, it's like they're in the public eye. People look at them, people watch them. It feels like 
it's something about at night. They may think about you really heavily at night. Make no mistake about this, they think about you in sexual ways as well. It's definitely a deep sexual desire. They obviously may masturbate to the thought of you, fantasize. There's a feeling of, it almost is like a pain in their heart when they think about it, think about you, it's painful. But what they don't realize is the pain that they feel is their heart cracking open to allow this love in. But to them, it feels like heartbreak. It feels like torment. It feels like, oh, fuck. There's an ache in the heart. Heartache. Head over heels. I mean, fucking duh. Absolutely head over heels. See, secret lover, I told you. They like It's a secret. They pine. They fantasize. They dream. They might like red. They might like you in red. They love your legs. They think, they, they, something about drinking, they might think about you more when they drink. They might have tried to drink you away, drink it off. They feel like they're drunk in love. They're going to be so romantic with you. Like they're already thinking of little things like they hear a show. Oh my God, I would love to take them to this show. Oh my God, is the, there's this new restaurant. Oh God, I would love to take them there. Um, I want to go here, like Tahoe. Oh, hey, I want to go to Vegas. They think about you immediately and then it kind of scares them. Like, why am I thinking about this person that I'm like, I don't even really know or that I know, but we're not even in anything. Something about travel. You guys might take a trip together. It might be really spontaneous too. Like they may just spontaneously say, um, yeah, I've been thinking about checking out Tahoe. I just don't have nobody to go with me. I mean, would, would you want to go? You want to come with me? And, and they're half joking and you're all like, fuck yeah. Hey, I heard about this new restaurant in town. Like, do you like Italian? And they're all like, fuck yeah. You see, it, it, it could, you know, however they're going to do this, because I feel they're going to do this, because it's eating them up, they're going to shoot from the hip, <sighs> just like immediately. So, um, yeah, almost impulsive, like an intuitive impulsiveness, where like they don't even, can't, can't even fucking believe they just did that. After the fact of when the woods come out, their, their fucking legs are rubber, and they feel lightheaded, and their, their legs feel like, they, they're, like they're going to faint, because they can't fucking believe they just said it. but they have to it's like almost like a boiling pot with the lid on it it, ha it has to come out <clears throat> it has to liberation told you they have to liberate themselves it has to come out you have to free themselves from this you know they were definitely in their fucking fields melancholy um there's something about smell if they've been in physical proximity of you, they, they think you smell great. If they have not been in physical proximity of you, they can't stop thinking about how you do smell. It could be something about white flowers, orchids, lilies. I definitely see red roses as well. What it, if the two of you end up married, which is a real high fucking probability, there will be a lot of red. Like I said, either they like red, <clears throat> you do, or they like you in red. I mean, the red rose symbolizes love and passion and romance. They're, they're thinking of a plan, like how do I say it casually without sounding like a dumbass? But I don't think that they're capable of doing that. It's either all or nothing. So either they say nothing or they say things that are very direct and forward. There's no in between. Almost as if spirit won't let that happen. It's just it's something in their gut, their soul. It just, they won't let it, they won't let them. There's no, 
pussyfooting around. They're very, they're very consumed, obsessed in their feels, horny as fuck, thinking about you. There, it's it's like it's coming to this boiling point, and at any second now, at any moment now, they're, they're so anxious they can't sleep. It's like they have this feeling like it's gnawing at them it's a message of love that some of you are going to receive and it, don't get me wrong it doesn't mean they're going to say hey i love you so fucking much <clears throat> they want to say that they may not the message could be very direct of hey what are you doing tomorrow stop by your fucking desk if you work together hey what are you doing for lunch it's, it, it's action oriented but when I say message of love, it's like, whatever it is they fucking do, <clears throat> whether it's a message or action, there's love behind it. It's how they feel. They're head over heels. And, I mean, well, we're going to get into the, in the extended, I'll use the sexual deck, but, I mean... The sexual desire is growing so rapidly. It's like fucking unreal. I mean, they're throbbing. They're, they're grouchy. They're moody because it's just, they're, it's built up. And they're just, what? No, I don't want to. No, thank you. I guess so. Yeah, whatever. And they might even be irritated at you and with you because the want of you and cannot have you is fucking torment it's punishment for them and almost they feel like why am i being punished i want it so badly why can't i have it i, I can have it anything i want and it just makes them want this even more because they can't have it because it's mysterious it's elusive it's confusing but honey that's not going to go on for much longer because they're not going to live like this let's get to this extended should you wish to rent it, click below this video the word more. It's going to bring up all my links. Go to the first one. It's going to take you to my website. And you're going to go to the extended readings in the special love slash oracle readings. All right. So I thank you guys very much again. Thanks for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here. I'll see you in the extended. And if you're interested in doing a private reading, click below and all my info is there. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.